But what are the complications related to diabetes? Well, they're the blood vessel complications or so-called vascular complications. These include heart attacks and strokes where there's narrowing and damage to the arteries supplying uh, blood to the brain and the uh, blood vessels around the heart. Uh, there may also be damage to the arteries uh, supplying the feet. So one gets peripheral vascular disease and one symptom of this might include cramps or pain when you walk. And uh, vascular surgeons and uh, other uh, health professionals can help exclude this and also deal with this. There are complications related to the eyes, so-called diabetic retinopathy, and uh, we recommend that patients get screened regularly by uh, the health, relevant health professional, for example, an ophthalmologist. There are also complications related to the kidney, so-called diabetic nephropathy, and this can go hand in hand with, for example, high blood pressure. So it's important to have a test uh, for renal function or kidney function and a urine test for albumin very regularly. There are also complications related to the nerves. So some patients with diabetes might report uh, burning or um, a bad feeling in their feet, preventing them from sleeping. And this is so-called painful diabetic neuropathy. There may be also loss of feeling uh, in their feet or hands. Again, uh, so-called uh, peripheral sensory neuropathy. There may be also nerve damage to the internal organs, for example, the stomach, so that the stomach doesn't empty properly, so-called diabetic gastroparesis. On the other hand, there may be so-called diabetic diarrhea where patients get profuse diarrhea. There may be complications so that a condition called postural hypotension, so that your blood pressure, uh, which might be normal when you're sitting down, drops abruptly when you stand up, and that can be a complication of diabetes as well. Sometimes bladder function, dysfunction occurs, and in men, erectile dysfunction is fairly common, and in fact, is often the only factor which will convince a man to see the doctor about the possibility of diabetes. So if there is erectile dysfunction, it's very important to get checked out by the health professional. There are other complications related to diabetes, such as poor dental care, depression. Uh, there are also other conditions such as sleep apnea, polycystic ovarian syndrome, and there's also a link with an increased risk of malignancy uh, in those with diabetes. So all these uh, complications need to be cared for or screened for by the health professionals, such as a GP or endocrinologist. Where are there red flags? Well, if someone's on medications for diabetes, particularly insulin or a group of medications called sulfonylureas, uh, the blood sugar levels might be low or blood glucose levels might be low, and these are red flag to either modify the medication, work out why that hypoglycemia has occurred or low blood sugar levels has occurred, and see their GP, diabetes nurse educator, or their endocrinologist about it. On the other hand, if the blood glucose levels are high and uh, uh, you have excessive thirst or you're passing a lot of urine, that again is a sign that there's something wrong and uh, that you need to see your health professional straight away. As far as complications occur, if you're getting a bad headache, that occasionally might reflect high blood pressure. If there's blurred vision, that might affect, uh, that might be due to the fact that the eyes are getting worse, or you've lost feeling in your feet, or there's burning in your feet, this might indicate uh, neuropathy. So all these are some of the warning symptoms and signs that uh, I would suggest that you, you know, uh, that patients actually see their health professional a little bit quicker than uh, than delay the visit. Mm -hmm.